this trip. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> We're on a ship in the middle of the ocean for a whole week. Let's take advantage. Swim. Go dancing. My beautiful suffix, today I want to put you guys into a new TV series called Death and Other Details. True to be told, just in the first two episodes, there are more lesbian steamy scenes that I have seen in a hot minute. And quite frankly, in a really long time, especially in a genre like this. But I will make time for us. Will your father announce you tonight? At the welcome party. I'll come. Really? Maybe we can go dancing after. <laughs> it is great to see murder mysteries back, and especially one like this, full of queer content. Pay attention. Details matter. As you all know, a man has been murdered on the ship. Killer is among us. I've been studying each of you and have learned devastating facts. Set on a cruise ship, the series immediately immerses us in a captivating world filled with mystery and luxury. What? Imogen, please, your family. I'm really glad you say that. You my room service bill last night? It was hilarious. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You gotta be fucking kidding me! This watch is worth 50 grand, more than you make in a fucking year. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm Your so tip sorry. was in here, was. Somebody has to say something. Doesn't always have to be you, though. But I'm so good at it. First and foremost is Anna, an absolute boss. Powerful and confident in taking over the family company. Their daughter, Anna, is expected to take over for her father as CEO of Collier Mills. But this is no simple case of nepotism. Anna Collier is a shark. They can't come back and want to renege on terms that we already signed to. Just tell them no. Her wife, Layla Collier, a retired clickbait journalist, requested a room on the south side of the ship to avoid 5G contamination. Her relationship with her wife, Layla, is portrayed with such a tenderness that it is impossible not to be seduced by them. I know the plane was hard for you. I'm just saying, you did it. We're here now, and we're safe. Nowhere is safe, Anna. Layla, the wife, became a bit eccentric following a head injury from a car accident that left her, above all, paranoid. Hey! Delete that. What? She what said, delete the photo, so just do it. You need to ask permission. Dude, just calm down. Delete the maldita okay, photo okay, now. Okay, I'm deleting it. See? Look, so easy. Oh, okay. She often confines herself to her room. Despite this, Anna still manages to spend a lot of quality time with her. And by quality time, I mean a lot of sex. Everything okay? It's fine. Everything's fine. Is it? On this trip, Anna is expected to be named the CEO of the family company, alongside her efforts to secure a partnership with the Shang family. This situation is even made more complicated by her romantic history with Eleanor. It was supposed to be a vacation, Anna. Some quick business, then my ties. Now someone's dead. My grandmother spooked. We're leaving in the morning. I can fix this. Give me a chance. Eleanor looks at Anna with an intensity that suggests that she might still be holding some feelings. And by some, I mean a lot. If it were up to me, I'd do anything for you. But it's out of my hands. I'm sorry. The deal's off. It is unclear as of the first two episodes if Imogen herself is queer. 
But until then, we still have plenty of other queer characters on the show. It's the worst day. Yeah. Every single year. But this isn't going to solve anything. You need to eat something. Thank you, but I'm not hungry. Tuna melts and disco fries from the Opal Diner. Extra gravy. What else? I'm not unconvinced that Anna and Imogen don't have a bit of a past as well. But I'm so excited to see how all of that unfolds as they try to find the killer on board. What do you need me to do? What did I want her to do? I could just tell you, Rita. But it's a lot more fun if you figure it out for yourself. How was it? Are you okay? Oh my god, it was brutal. I don't ever want to see him again. Anna's wife tends to stay in her own room, while the presence of her ex on board is likely to lead to some queer shenanigans. I cannot wait to see what happens next. How was the party? It was amazing. Everyone asked where you were, and my dad didn't announce me as CEO. So I screamed at the ocean for a while and drank grappa with that Italian couple. I tried. I know you did. You just looked so fucking hot in that dress I wanted to show you off. The show is beautifully produced, well acted, well written, and above all, queer as fuck. I see you. Hmm? Have you been following me? In Sydney? In New York? Last month? Did you switch rooms to spy on me and my wife? Switch rooms? Oh, I moved because the last one was next to a bunch of screaming kids. Who are you working for? The show has some really good surprises and I'm full of theories, but I won't give you any major spoilers. Anna? The man across the hall. Keith Trubitsky? I'm telling you, there is no Keith Trubitsky. <laughs> the first two episodes are now streaming on Hulu, and a new episode is out every Tuesday. And there's Layla. Paranoid, terrified of what remains to be seen. But her wife, your friend, Anna, lied. On her behalf, more than once, there are billions on the line in the deal between the Colliers and the Chuns. Any one of them might have killed Danny. To keep it in place. I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for watching.